My beloved brothers, my sisters, we are Muslim. A Muslim is a person who submits unto Allah, Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. A Muslim is a person, a Muslim is a person who does what Allah Almighty wants. And how do I know what Allah Almighty wants? He sent to us messengers from the very beginning to remind us to worship Him alone, which is the most important message. He sent messengers and from the very beginning, Adam alayhi salatu wasalam reminded his own children to worship Allah alone. Sheath alayhi salam reminded his people, his children, his family to worship Allah alone. Nuh, Noah, may peace be upon him, reminded his people to turn back to Allah alone. And if we go further and further, we will find all the messengers of Allah with exactly the same message. That message was to worship Allah alone. Who is Allah? Allah is the worshipped one. He who made entire creation, that is Allah. He who made you and I, that is Allah. He whom I am going to return to after I die and you and entire creation when it comes to an end will be returning to none other than the one who made this creation in the first place, Allah, Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. So if you look at the message of all the messengers, it is identical when it comes to who you should worship. There was never a discrepancy, never a change. There was never any difference of opinion among the messengers, even though they came one after the other. They all called towards worshiping the maker alone. Whoever made you, you worship him alone. And who is he? He is the worshipped one, Allah, none other than Allah. He has names, he has qualities that are uniquely his. No one shares any of the qualities of Allah to the degree or the level of that which Allah holds. When you say this person is very forgiving, he is not on the level of Allah. Allah is ghaffarun, ghafurun, rahimun, wadudun, etc. These are the names of Allah. Allah is most forgiving. You and I, we might forgive small things, wait until something big happens, and then something bigger happens, and something even bigger happens. We have limits. Allah has no limits. Allah can do what He wants. فَعَالٌ لِمَا يُرِيدٌ He continues to do whatever He wishes, whatever He wants. Nothing happens on earth except by the will of Allah. He knows about it, He lets it be. It is Allah. He is in control. But it's all part of a test for all of us. Life is short. One day is good, one day is bad. One day is for you, one day is against you. My brothers, my sisters, believe in Allah. If you have a relation with Allah, the good day is Alhamdulillah. The bad day is also Alhamdulillah. There are five prayers a day. On a good day, it is five. On a bad day, it is still five. Subhanallah. In fact, when something bad happens, we get closer to Allah. Today, we are seated here. We thank Allah that Allah has given us a chance to sit in His beautiful house. This is the house of Allah. We are so many in number. Why are we here? Because there is an instruction of Allah. You are here and I am here to worship Allah. To listen to a good word that will bring me closer to Allah. To develop my yaqeen and conviction in Allah. Do you have a guarantee that tonight will be a happy night? Do you have a guarantee that you are going to be alive tonight? Tonight is far before tonight. There is no guarantee. People can pass away here and now. Sometimes who knows what might happen as we leave. May Allah Almighty grant us Jannatul Firdaus. 
May Allah give us a good death. May Allah help us. The reason I say that from the very beginning, Allah wants us to worship Him alone. And Allah Almighty wants us to do what he has instructed that instruction. He sent messengers, all these prophets of Allah. And who is the final Nabi? Who is the final messenger of Allah? Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What did he teach? When it comes to belief and aqidah, he taught exactly what Jesus taught. May peace be upon him. He taught exactly what Moses taught. May peace be upon him. What was that? Worship your maker alone and no one else. Moses, may peace be upon him, said, worship your maker alone and no one else. Harun, may peace be upon him. Same thing. Ibrahim, the prophet Abraham, may peace be upon him. What did he say? He said, do not worship the sun. Do not worship the moon. Don't worship the stars. Don't worship creation. Worship the one who made you alone. وَجَّهْتُ وَجْهِيَ لِلَّذِي فَطَرَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا أَنَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ I have turned my face to the one who created the heavens and the earth. Pure, in pure worship of Him alone, and I'm not going to associate partners with Allah. You and I, as Muslims, we do sujood. What is sujood? Sujood is prostration. Umirtu an asjuda ala sab'ati a'zum. The Prophet, peace be upon him, says, I have been instructed to prostrate on seven bones. What are the seven bones? Al jabha, the forehead. And the nose is the same bone. وَأَشَارَ بِيَدِهِ إِلَىٰ أَنْفِهِ وَالْيَدَيْنِ وَالْرُكْبَتَيْنِ وَأَطْرَافِ الْقَدَمَيْنِ The hands, that's another two. So one plus two. The knees, that's another two. That is now five. And then the toes, your toes, they go down, right? When you are in sujood, they are touching the ground. So seven bones. What is that? That is the highest level of ibadah is when you are on the lowest physical point. Subhanallah. Look, my head is on the ground. Allah says, Aqrabu ma yakunu al-abdu li rabbihi wa huwa sajid. The closest my worshipper is to me when he is in sujood. But where are you? I am right down. Right down to the ground. Subhanallah. When you are close to the ground, you are closer to Allah. Have you thought of it? Allah says, you want to be close to me, the closest you can ever get to me is in the position of prostration, sujood. But you are never ever allowed to make sujood for anyone or anything besides Allah. That is an ibadah and all ibadah, all acts of worship, that is an act of worship and all acts of worship are only and solely for Allah. None other than Allah. Now, if Allah has made me and He told me, worship me alone, how do I know what and how to worship Allah? How do I know? Should I wave my hands? Should I blink my eyes? Should I turn my head? Should I stamp my feet? Should I hit the drums? What should I do? What is going to be pleasing to Allah? Is it from my brain? The answer is no, it's not from your brain. Allah must decide how He wants me to worship Him. I cannot do it on my own. I need to know. Some people when they want to worship Allah, they just do anything and say, I'm sure Allah will be happy. It's wish. What, what are you talking about? You can't just shake your head like this and say, I'm sure Allah will be happy with. The... What is that? Where did you get it from? Did someone teach you? If they did, who was it? If it came from Allah through the messengers, you are right. If it came from someone else, you are wrong. No matter how right you think you are, you are wrong because Allah did not teach you that. So acts of worship are solely for Allah and acts of worship are determined solely by Allah. No one else. May Allah Almighty make us strong. You want to read the Quran, read as much as you want. It is an ibadah. You fulfill your five salah, fulfill the farah, then you go to the sunnah, then you go to the nafil as much as you like. But you cannot increase the farah to say, okay, today I'm very happy with Allah, so I'm going to increase instead of four, I will make six. You cannot do that. It's, it is wrong. It is rejected. Man amila amalan laysa alayhi amruna dun. Whoever does a deed that we did not instruct, it is rebounded to them in sin. You cannot do that. You need to listen to what Allah has taught you. 
So when you worship Allah the way He wants, and when you develop a relationship with Allah how He wishes, what happens to your heart? It becomes strong and pure. You fear none but Allah. You are prepared for the meeting with Allah and you are preparing for the meeting with Allah every day. If you are to die right now, you have hope in the mercy of Allah. Why? Because I'm trying my best to do what Allah wants. This life is full of challenges. Every day there is a challenge. Like I said at the beginning, يَوْمٌ لَكَ وَيَوْمٌ عَلَيْكَ A day for you, a day against you. No problem. Allah is great. I am alive. I will try my best. I have my hands and my feet. I have my ability. I'm going to do my best. If Allah takes what I have away, Alhamdulillah. If Allah takes me away, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, I'm gone. What will happen to my family and my children and my women and my whatever? What? Don't worry. Don't worry, my brother. Don't worry. Whatever happened to the families of others, <laughs> yours will also be taken care of. Maybe, can I say? If you are not a good man, maybe your wife will get a better husband than you. May Allah forgive us. <laughs> May Allah grant us forgiveness. Be good. The best from amongst you, khayrukum, khayrukum li ahlihi. Be good to your family. The best from amongst you, those who are best to their family members. May Allah make us strong. So there is one thing we need to develop and that is conviction. Yaqeen. Develop your yaqeen. Yaqeen in what? In Allah. Your faith in Allah. Your tawakkul ala Allah. Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.